Each year, from February to May, hundreds of men leave Pacific Coast ports and soon spread out on the coastlines of Alaska, busily preparing for the salmon run that is to come. For it is during these great runs the salmon are caught by the fishermen. As soon as melting snow and ice permit, salmon traps such as this one are driven at strategic points, at points where the salmon have been most bountiful in previous years. These salmon traps, consisting of a long double row of piles which stretch out from the land and terminate in another group, box-like in arrangement, are the most effective and economical means of catching large numbers of fish at one time. Between the piles, strong nets are fixed. Then a matter of waiting until exciting words flash by radio from the Shumagan Islands, the salmon are running. The whole country swings into action. All of Alaska becomes salmon conscious, and rightfully for it means work for over 21,000 men. Fast tenders are dispatched from the canneries to the traps, which become filled suddenly with wriggling silver flashes by the thousand as if by magic. There is nothing to keep these fish from swimming out once they are caught. Only the instinct never to turn back keeps thousands of salmon in the traps. Once alongside the fish house dock, the tender crew loses no time in transferring its cargo of freshly caught salmon. For as soon as one tender is unloaded, there is another to take its place. A seine boat fresh from the open seas, or an independent fisherman with his catch. No human hands touch the fish. A mechanical elevator moves them rapidly into the sorting bins in the fish house.